permission for you. Now you can do that. Now you have the permission to lead that breath if you would like to do that. Because you're not playing. But you are. Yeah, everybody's playing, even if they got bars rests, aren't they? Yeah? You think that actors would be really good if they weren't like acting along with everybody else and then had to come on and do their part if they weren't already in the play, thankfully? Probably not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your chance. <laughs> This is really important. Because we need models. Maybe it's in honor of homecoming week. Oh, 
someone tired from the powder puff game? Uh, everyone is pretty quiet today. Ready? In through the nose, out through the mouth. <coughs> Not that much. <coughs> That's fine. <coughs> Well, 
no opinion? So you're waiting for me to give you my opinion? No, no, no other opinions. Yes? I think we kept our time consistent. Yeah, I thought the time was consistent. I, I did, yeah. I, I would agree with that. That's great. You felt pretty good about the, the, the tempo. Anything else? Anything else that you felt? Well, well, well yeah. Really balanced. Yeah, I think balance is okay. Uh, it, it, it's, it's this kind of a balance, but it's, it's balanced. So what we, what we are striving for is to find balance within the rise and fall. So as the ensemble rises and the line rises, we still stay in balance. And as the line, uh, as we change instruments, who's got the melody, who doesn't have melody, as that stuff changes, still keeping that balance. I think that was, I think that was consistent. Something else? Something else that you felt one That was your song? Yes. Anything else? We play all the right notes? Bring them on. Yeah, play all the right rhythms. Yeah, for the most part. Okay, yeah. Anything else? That, look, the reason why I'm asking you to find the things that are working well, why? Why would I ask you to do that? Why shouldn't I just go and tell you what's not working well? Anybody know? I mean, that's how you know that I know all my stuff, isn't it? That I know all your mistakes? So that's how you know that I'm really good at what I do? Yes? That way we can, we don't feel like it's all a lost cause. No, that's, that's a nice side, that's a nice side point. Anything else? If you struggle to identify what you did well, you'll never be able to do it again. Better work out what you're doing well so you can repeat it. You can build on that. Start off by identifying what you're doing well. Then look at what you would like to improve. Not what you did wrong, but what would you like to improve. It changes the whole character of learning when you do that. You stop looking at what you did wrong first. And you start looking at what you did well, so you can do it again. That's what we want to do. Can I tell you that probably 90 to 80 percent of what you just did was was right? Well, you mean we only really need to address the 80 percent? Yeah. Mind you, the 20 percent that you need to fix is fairly significant. Okay. But if you don't know what you're doing well in the 80 percent, then we're in trouble. If that makes any sense. So. That's the reason why I'm going that way. I want you to identify what you did well so you can do it again. Many of you are, 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 are getting your parts, you're getting the right fingerings, you're getting the right rhythms, you're getting the right balance, you get tone quality, it's, it's pretty good. So now, what do we do? Now we know that that's going well, now we can talk about the stuff that we would like to improve. So, give me some ideas about what you would like to improve. Yes? Yeah, the dynamics are flat. They're, they're uh, you know, the, the piece is moving along like that. And the audience will become bored with that. Okay, so will we. Secretly, we'll, you know, go to automatic pilot. Something else you would like to, what would you like to uh, improve? Surely there are many, many things here. Yeah? Um. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah I, that's, that's something. There, there are many more serious things that we should address for a, a piece of music that demands professionals to play this stuff. Yes? Getting all the accents correct, like staccato, yeah, yeah. legato. That's inter yeah, that's interpretation. Getting the legato versus the staccato versus the tenuto versus the accents, the marcados, and all that stuff. That's that's right. What else? It, it's all very up and down. It's not moving horizontally. So the long notes aren't going to the short notes. The short notes aren't going. The harmony isn't moving underneath the piece well enough to keep the piece actually uh, taking us with it. It's a march. It's a marching song. What it lacks is shape. Right? What it lacks is shapeliness. What it lacks is this engagement with the actual lines, which are doing this. It's like riding a roller coaster with no hills or curves. It's not a very interesting roller coaster. Okay? A roller coaster does this stuff, and that's why we like it. It gives us gravity. That's why I like riding my motorcycle, because I feel G force. <laughs> I feel that stuff, and it's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> it's almost as good as flying an airplane. Okay, so let's come back and do some work on it. B 
Beanie, but uh, did you find the recording? Yeah, I did. Great, let's listen to it. All right, you compare what you just listened to, the, the things that you think you're doing well, the things that you would like to improve, and let's listen to Timothy Reddish's ensemble.
you know, if you ever watched the steam engine work, you wouldn't want the one piston to move out of time with the other one, or the whole thing would blow up. So the pistons are going Steam engine keeps going over all the waves. The waves are doing this and this and this and this. That's how it works. Okay? One, two, and two. Instructing you what to do. And it's just simple to listen to the music and listen to each other. That makes it so awesome. I'm not conducting it. You are. Okay? Do it again. Follow the lines. One. One. Two. 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 Now don't tell me that that wasn't fun. <laughs> that 
Was that fun? That was fun. That was awesome. Now, snare drum, you have to follow with your bowls. You remember the, you remember the Kurt experience? I, I, yeah. Snare drum should be felt and not heard. Well, not only that, not much but he was the first person in the symphonic band that actually played it musically. And it was oh, snare Kurt. Drum. Oh, Kurt. I yeah, Kurt. Kurt. Yeah. Yeah, Kurt. My first semester at his school, my first semester there. The snare drum, following the contour of the snare drum roll, and I stopped the whole ensemble and went, holy cow, <laughs> musicianship in the snare drum. <laughs> My smile was that big. <laughs> okay. Now, I've tried to infuse in you my passion, and I want what I've tried to infuse you with to be yours. So you play it for me now. The trio, letter F. <clears throat> Exaggerate. How many people have done drama here? No, none. You should. <laughs> yeah. You should, because to get something over the stage, you have to exaggerate. If you don't think that Johnny Depp exaggerates things, then <laughs> go get a life. Okay? All right. If you think that uh, Bill Gibson doesn't exaggerate things, you don't get acting. Your actors, this is a script, a drama script, and you've got to bring it to life instead of just reciting things. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. Many a time he carried me on his back. What? Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. Many a time he carried me upon his back. You like that one? <laughs> of course you do. Play. Now play it like that. What? Exaggerate. Ah! <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Great. All right. Excellent. He's going to get the euphonium part. Take me just a couple of moments. Okay. So what are you learning from this? What what what, what what's going on in in here? Because if we if you can actually start to identify some of this stuff, then it will last for the next rehearsal. Is there anything that you're picking up here? Yeah. Be musical about it. Just don't let it be one that way. And every time we play it, it's going to be different. Tomorrow. It'll be different. The next day, it'll be different. It'll just continue to spin out as long as we're thinking about what it is that we want to say. He's almost got it. Almost got it. Almost got it. He's almost got it. Because <laughs> I want to get to your conducting 1800, but I'm probably not going to. Let's go to the next time. Got it? Yes. Good. Okay. Tell you what, let's play it from the top. Since I got the, since you got the euphonium part now. Okay, let's play it from the top. Woo! Well, Mr. Meyer, you want to, if you think that, Mr. Meyer, if you think that we need some help musically, you can jump in. Okay, you ready? Here we go. One, two, from the top, upper left. One, two, ba bum ba <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
some stuff to be able to do that. What do you think? You think a uh, better grasp of B flat major and oh, A yeah. flat major might help? Yeah. A little bit more of a grasp of those scales? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Arpeggio scales, F minor, D flat major, A flat major, G flat minor. Yes? Okay. Well, that's one thing. The other thing is, of course, subdivision which make sure your long notes actually get their full value. Okay, well there's some other technical things that you can deal with. Breathing will help. Mallet stuff will help. Being able to control rolls. So they're finer, they're tighter. They're more buzz-like instead of loose. Okay, Kentucky 1800 with motion. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Take it, you've told them all about this, the story behind this thing. Mm -hmm. You've told them all about this, the story behind 1800. I don't know the story behind 1800. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time to tell them the story. You look it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kentucky 1800. What was going on in Kentucky in 1800? Because if you don't know that, you can't really understand what this piece is about. It's a programmatic piece of music. I haven't got time to tell you. <laughs> all right? Daniel Boone, you know, all that stuff. Mm. Trappers, adventure, not Disneyland. Okay. <laughs> I bet? Three. lean on the note, that means sit on the note. Simply. They're how you get into silence. So you guys are playing tenuto, these things, like short notes. You're playing them like those. It's like spreading that blue stuff when you're going to put a poster up against the wall and you kind of spread it with your thumb. That's what that is. 
more. It's leaning on the note, but not accenting. Okay? So, ti, do, ti, di, do. There's no short notes in here, guys. None. There's accented ones, but two new notes. Let's play. No short notes. What? Ti. Ah. Thank you. 